Typical week for me, uh, I experience it every day just because it's like my form of therapy. So like at least two hours a day on a walk or like back home on the East Coast, I would like go outside and just like get some sun and like, you know, just sit out by my pergola and just hang out for like some time and then do my homework. The creek's really beautiful. Like there's tons of beautiful places here, so yeah. there's, there's a lot to do. But I go on hikes like um, at least like three times a week, okay, going tomorrow. Uh, not being in it, like I would say it's like almost overwhelming or like claustrophobic for me. Cause like in, the, in like in nature, like everything is just happening, like just as it is. And then when stuff's man-made, it, there's mistakes, and it's like you know, like I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but but I would say like it's definitely like too overwhelming, like being in a city for me. That's why I chose a school there where I could go outside every single day. Okay. Yeah. Um. And how do you feel? And do you feel the same way in nature, or do you feel totally different in nature? Totally different. I feel like I can breathe. Like, uh, like the reason why I chose Boulder is because whenever I'm like in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania has some great views too, but uh, I'm driving around and like I like just see these like rolling hills and like these beautiful trees and different colors in the fall and stuff, mm-hmm. and I just feel like I can get I can get like a full breath of air like in the bottom of my lungs, like even like on top of Kilimanjaro where the air is like as thin as it, it can be, like you can like finally breathe. Uh-huh. And so, like, it's the same kind of thing for that. And then when I'm, like, you know, not when I don't get outside, I feel, like, short-breathed, like, I'm at high altitude. Um, and tell me about a time you were immersed in nature, either this week or in the past year at most. Um, yeah, I went on a hike this week uh, up Chautauqua and went to the first and second Flatiron, Flatiron Loop. And that was, that was really nice because you just, like, you, you know when you're in nature is like when there's absolutely no sirens going off in the distance or no cars like no freeways and it's just like some birds or even just straight up silence like it's it's really a beautiful thing and then on Kilimanjaro that was it the entire time yeah. on the base and on up yeah yeah in high school that was a time when I was like not around like a lot of nature so I had to be I forced myself to and uh, this would be when it's dark out since it's winter time and you know like the days are shorter and then we would go in school the whole day and I, it would just be like fake lights all day. And then I would go to practice after school. And then we would get done with that shower and by the time we walk out the sun would already have been set. And so it was literally like for like three months out of winter, like I wasn't seeing the sun. And that's when like springtime this year I was spending so much time outside. It, it's cause it was like really making me depressed. My trip to Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my trip to Kilimanjaro was pretty life changing. Uh-huh. It was like, like even before, um, even before we like stepped, stepped foot like at the base of the foothills of the mountain, uh-huh. like it was, I could see like a whole new perspective on the world. So I like to say that like, I didn't have to go to the top of Africa to see the rest of the world, like, cause it, it was, it was incredible like seeing people like just use the resources that they have and building houses out of two by fours and road signs and like, so that was a really interesting part. Um, that like I don't talk about that much, and then the whole trip was a, a, like incredible. Cause like I, I'm really into it now, and then I started painting in like eighth grade, and I was just painting like stuff for my dad to hang up in his office, and like I kind of realized like I had like a kind of a talent, and I I painted a lot, and then I was self-taught up until the end of junior year, so like my painting skills were pretty like solid, but they were like my skills. And uh, I was, you know, painting a lot of flowers and a lot of natural stuff too. That also like changed my aspect on nature as well, because like you don't realize like that that when you're painting like say the orange buffalo that I have, orange brown buffalo, you don't like look at it and say, oh like it, that's too orange, like it needs to be like neutralized, and then I'm gonna add blue, which is on the opposite side of the palette, because it's actually blue reflection from the sky under the buffalo's brown fur yeah and then you add blue and it looks more realistic Mm -hmm. so it's like it it changed my perspective on nature as well uh it's i like to paint nature because it's literally like life in its purest form it doesn't get more pure than that like and then everything on earth is just natural as well and i i kind of like i think man-made stuff is really impressive but like there's nothing more beautiful than something that is like just not touched by man